Well, we have made it to one of my favorite destinations to fish. You guys know if you've been subscribed to this channel a lot in the past here, I have gone out on the Fox River. I do a lot of fishing out here in spring. I actually run walleye trips out here in spring. And then obviously I do a lot of ice fishing out here as well. And I'm looking at it right now and it's frozen. We're gonna go out, check the ice. It looks like the center of the river otherwise known as the channel of the river. A little sketchy yet, it looks like, but good thing we don't have to cross the channel. We're gonna stay in some kind of deeper eddies just off of the just off of the shoreline here, see what we can catch. I normally have pretty good luck when I'm out here, and normally it's a ton of fun. I get a lot of whitefish, a lot of walleyes, and it's basically gonna be the target today. So we're gonna get down here, and we're gonna check the ice. If everything checks out, we're gonna walk out to our spot, punch some holes, get the shack set up, and have ourselves, hopefully, a heck of an afternoon. Yep. That is not gonna be fun to go up later. I don't care if there's people out there already. You're not gonna take the same path as them, more than likely. Spud your way out, be careful. Yeah, this is some good ice. There's actually a lot of ice out here. So that is a good thing. This spot is actually kind of unique. Um, it's off of that main river channel, that main river channel, mainly 27 to 30 feet deep out there. There's a lot of fish in that channel. We don't really wanna fish out there, especially right now because of the ice conditions, but we're gonna kind of stay up on these flats that come up on each side of this river. This is where those fish are gonna hang out. They're gonna look for food and basically where they're gonna be a little bit more active. So we're gonna set the shack up right here, punch some holes, throw a live scope in, see what we see down there. Hopefully we see a bunch of fish, uh, whether they're whitefish or walleyes. Just itching to catch something out here this year so far for the ice season that is. One thing I do love about this new Eskimo shack that I got this year is the flap all the way around the shack. It sits flat even by the doors and then you actually have a zipper pocket here too where you can run your you know, your four-wheeler or ATV attachment to be able to pull this bad boy. But this flap that goes all the way around the shack, basically allowing you to create that thermal barrier so that cold air isn't allowed to get into the shack itself. A lot of shacks, what happens is you only have that flap for a certain amount. You don't have it all the way around the, the actual sled part itself. And what can happen is cold air can creep underneath, feel a little bit of a draft coming into the shack. But with this Eskimo, it goes all the way around, creating that barrier that you need to stay warm. 12 seconds later. <sighs> I set the live scope unit up. It's time for you guys to come in the shack. We're marking a ton of fish right now, and it's only one o'clock. Let's catch them. We are marking a ton of fish right now on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and get down there. I guess we're uh, gonna have to retie that. It's a little early yet. But, you know, with a little bit of overcast skies we have today, we might be able to make something happen. <laughs> and we got one. First fish. Oh, and I lost him. <laughs> I was trying to turn on the camera. We had our first fish of the ice fishing season on the Fox, and we just lost our first fish. Let's see if I can get this guy to go. Got him. Got him. That's a nice walleye. Beautiful fish. Let me get him up the hole here. There we go. First one of the 2022 2023 ice fishing season, baby. Just hit the ice, let's go. I was having some issues with my live scope unit there and I had to turn it off, turn it back on. And as soon as I turned it back on, this bad boy hit. That's probably the average, um, you know, that we get out here on the flats. That's a good 20, 21 inch walleye. Nice little belly on them, it's feeding well. And we just got our first Fox River walleye for the 2022, 2023 ice fishing season. <laughs> See you later. Yes, that is the first one so far. That one did it. 
That one feels better. About the same size as the other one. Wow, they like to fight when they get to the hole here. Come on, pal. Let's make it easy. This guy is not happy with what just happened. Oh my goodness. It's a little bigger than the last one. Just gotta get his head through the hole here. There we go. A little bigger than the last one. Just another gorgeous Fox River walleye right there. Wow, we're gonna have an awesome, I feel like we're gonna have an awesome night. We already smashed two walleyes and we were not even 30 minutes into our trip here. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome man this is gonna be a fun night anybody is wondering what rod setup i am running right now in my hand this is actually a peranto pup now this is typically my crappie setup my crappie rod um, but i have it set up with really light line and some of these walleyes in this river can be really finicky so i like to downsize just a little bit and this rod helps me do that but it also has that stout enough backbone to pull those fish up through the hole yeah it might take just a little bit more effort to get that fish's head through the hole but it's definitely got the backbone and the power to do it next to me over here um, on this rod i actually have an og this is a light rod as well kind of a longer stout panfish rod but also good enough to get those walleyes up through the hole. Those are the two rod setups I am running today. If you're interested in checking out any of the Della Bay rods, they have an awesome selection of custom rods over there from panfish rods to walleye rods to lake trout rods. Anything you need to hit the ice this season, they have it. And you can use discount code that I have listed below to save yourself some money at checkout. They also do open water rods that you guys have seen in previous videos too, if you're a subscriber of this channel. Absolutely love my Della Bay rods. I've, I've been using them for about two years now and have nothing but great things to say. Watching these fish on live scope is so neat. Oh my goodness, you can almost just see everything on the fish. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's, that's another good one. That's another good one right there. And they get so mad. Every single fish has been hooked in the same spot, right in the roof of the mouth. And that is another good Fox River walleye right there. Oh man. If you are careful, you can get on the ice right now. There's a good four inches on some of the flats here on the Fox River. And the walleyes are obviously biting and there's plenty of them down there to be had. And there's a lot of fun to be had too as well. But like I said, you definitely have to be careful. Use a spud bar on your way out, use common sense and you can catch some really, really nice green bay fish so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy put back hopefully catch some more see you later dude thank you <laughs> haven't caught any whitefish yet today which is surprising a lot of times you get a, a, a couple of those whitefish mixed in before it really starts to get dark we just haven't had that yet today a lot of it's been all walleyes which is great i'm not complaining i love catching walleyes you should be able to see him he's so close <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> oh, the amount of times I'm gonna do that today. <laughs> yep. Look at how fast that guy came up to the hole. <laughs> that is how freaking close those guys are to the bottom of the ice. Not as big as the ones we have been getting, but another good fish. We'll send him right back down the hole here. So we had more fish on the screen. Later, dude. Jeez. Wow, that is a big mark. Oh. Okay. This is a better one. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. Yes. These fish are fired up. Wow. Fat Fox River fish there. Check that out. Another good one. I just want to wait for him. To Thanks, pal. Thanks for getting me soaked. Fish. Awesome. All right. Well, that was another good one for sure. Let's see if we can get some more. Looks like a good one. Barely touched it. Is he spinning around? Do it again. 
Oh, that is such cool footage. Got him. It's a white fish. Big stinky white fish. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> what is happening? All right, that's about enough of that. Here we go. We got a whitefish. Freaking things are excited. Super cool live scope footage there. <laughs> but not the target species. We're going to send that guy down the hole. Alrighty, well, he made a freaking mess, turned our heater off, but uh, yeah, so that's, that's a whitefish. Oh, here we go. He turned on it. Got him. This feels like a walleye. Definitely gonna be a walleye. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Come on up here, pal. Yes. Another good Fox River fish. Oh man, this dust never gets old. I could do this all the time. Nice looking fish there. That one hit it a little closer to the bottom, but still seeing a ton of suspended fish. Gorgeous. Get you right back down. That was not very graceful, but it worked. Oh, he is turning on it hard. He wants it. Here he comes. That right there is the patience you need to ice fish the Fox River. Oh yeah. Not a giant, but a good one. It took forever for him to decide if he was gonna eat it or not, but he did. And that's a good fish. That guy's gonna bleed a little bit, so I'm gonna let him go, but another good one. There you go. Nice cold water for you. All fired up. That fish will be totally fine. I got him a little bit in the gill, but I was able to get it out pretty good there. I don't think we ripped nothing. 20 minutes later. All right, well, I think we are gonna call that a wrap for tonight. Absolutely awesome time out here. It's a little earlier than I normally wrap up, but honestly, it's been pretty dead for about the past hour. We had a great night, so I'm gonna go ahead and start packing everything up and start heading back towards the truck. Pulling all this stuff up by yourself, especially up that hill, ain't the most fun thing in the world, but I can't complain because we had ourselves an awesome night on the Fox River for the first time 2022-2023 ice fishing season. There's about four inches of ice right in front of Voyager Park here. Um, I did not go down as far as Fox Point, so I'm unsure of ice conditions down there, but if you're coming out to Voyager Park, you can expect four to five inches out right in front of the park here. Now, I wouldn't venture out you know, any further than 100 yards without a spud bar for sure, just because some of that ice out there doesn't look as safe as the stuff tighter to shore. It seems like the ice is, is really starting to build. Obviously, it's still cold outside and it's gonna be for the next I don't know, half a week here for sure. Probably gonna start continuing to build ice here. It's only gonna get thicker from here on out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go down, smash the subscribe button down below if you like walleye fishing, ice fishing in general. Like I said, we're gonna be doing a lot of it here on this channel, so you're not gonna wanna miss out on that. But as always, keep living your dream, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.